What's up guys? I'm going to unbox and review this new Asus RT BE88U. It has a speed rating of BE7200. It is a dual band, so it has a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz band. So we got some 10 gig ports. We got a 10 gig Ethernet and 10 gig SFP+. Plus. In fact, we'll talk about that when I actually take out the router. Um, auto detection for the WAN. Uh, we got MLO, obviously, because it's uh, multi-link operation because it's Wi-Fi 7. And we got AI protection, which gives you enhanced network security features. That's included. So you don't need a separate subscription. Parental controls also come included with Asus routers. You don't need a separate subscription for that, which is really a big bonus. And in general, Asus has a bunch of options. Uh, so, yeah, so we got the manual and stuff, um, all the ways of different connecting it and everything like that. Quick start guide. And uh, let's take a look at the router itself. So we got the LED indicators right here. We got a gold color ASUS. Uh, we got the antennas that are going to go here. Uh, we have a 10 gig WAN or LAN right here, a 10 gig SFP plus port, the uh, uh, WPS button. We got a 2.5 gig uh, WAN port. So you can use either one of these for the WAN. You can also use the SFP plus port uh, for the WAN as well if you want to do that. Uh, we got other 2.5 gigabit ports right here and we have the gigabit ports right here. Uh, we got the factory reset, we got the USB 3.0, we got the power, and then we got the power switch. And it does not look like it's wall mountable, but there's a lot of vents uh, on the bottom. So that's what the antennas look like. They just screw on, so just pop it in right here. Screw them on. There it is. Took me a second, but got it going. And then there it is. So you're free to move it. So lots of degrees of freedom. Obviously, I'm going to hook up the other three as well. So we got the power port right here. It is 100 to 240 volts and output is 45 watts. Uh, and that's what the plug itself looks like right there. And we got a Cat6 Ethernet cable. There it is. All right, so I got a chance to run this as my main router. I did all the speed test range tests of all those numbers right here. We'll go over that momentarily. I tested it with the following Wi-Fi 7 devices. And I also happen to have the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is another Wi-Fi 7 device. But this one can't go as fast as these two. And I've made a separate video showing you guys the speed differences between these phones. And I forget what router I was testing that one with. But it might have been the Asus BQ16 Pro when I did that test. But it was basically a faster router than this. So uh, no drops, nothing like that, nothing abnormal. Ran it for a few weeks. Everything was solid, just as I would expect from this thing. So I basically, we'll start with the internet speed test. So when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speed. So no matter how fast this router is, unless, of course, the router itself is actually limiting those speeds. So in my case, my internet speeds happen to be 5 gigs up and down, 5 gigabits per second. And this does have a 10 gig Ethernet port. It also has the SFP Plus port, but I don't use that. I use Ethernet. So when my Internet goes in at 5, I can actually get up to 5. However, when I come out with the Ethernet ports, the fastest other Ethernet ports are 2.5 gigabits. So when I do a speed test on the computer, I get right around that 2.4-ish, two, not, quite, not quite hitting the 2.5, but it's usually within that realm of like the 2.4 gigabits per second. And again, that's because, so if I had another 10 gig Ethernet port, I, sh I would be able to get my full 5 gig speeds. All right. So now the Wi-Fi devices are a different story, and this is a dual band system. So looking at the test results, we got 1892 down and 1622 up, which is still very, very fast, but not quite as fast as if it was a tri-band system. So if I had the, for example, the BE96U can go faster than this, but it might not matter depending on your speed. So that's kind of the uh, caveat here. So, but to find a true performance of the system, I need to do a local speed test. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And this way I isolate the router itself. So I'm no longer relying on my public, not my, <laughs> I usually mess that up. Uh, I'm no longer relying on my ISP, my internet service provider or the public speed test server. So, and the public speed test server can vary at times. So I kinda, the local speeds are usually a lot more consistent. And um, usually they offer better speeds as well. So doing that speed test, I basically got almost two gig, well not almost, I got a little over two gigs down and I got 1692 up. 
So definitely an improvement in speeds and especially for something that's a dual band system that's actually very fast for a dual band system. Then we move on to range test and range will vary drastically by location. So if you're in between floors, thick walls, things like that, essentially more obstructions typically equals less range. So I'm in more of an open area so I get a little more range than at least I used to in the last place I lived. So at 20 feet away inside my place, there is a drop, but not by much. Still getting very, very fast speeds at above 1.8 gigs down, 1.5 up. And at 50 feet, this is when I'm outside my place, and I'm still getting very, very fast speeds, and that's probably thanks to these bigger antennas as well. And the antenna placement actually does matter, by the way. Uh, and placement of the router also does make a difference as well. So if you're hiding this uh, behind a metal cabinet or something like that, that's definitely going to decrease your range. If it's more of an open area, typically, again, you're going to get more range. And then moving on to 100 feet, this is across the street, and I'm still getting very, very usable speeds at 565 down and 283 up, even though it obviously has dropped quite a bit. Ping and jitter was also pretty good at across the street. It could go further than 100 feet, but that's pretty much where I capped my testing. Now for setup and configuration, the ASUS has so many options, it's almost ridiculous. They have so many things you can customize, so if you want to tinker, ASUS is definitely, definitely the way to go. So they really give you, all right, so let's give some examples. So one of the common questions I get asked, not super common, but common enough is can I separate out the SSIDs? Like I want a separate 2.4, I want a separate five, how do I do that, can this router do that? And the answer is yes, ASUS can do that. In fact, ASUS kind of takes that to a whole new level. So not only can you separate out the bands, you can literally have different styles of SSIDs. And what I mean by that is I have a main Wi-Fi 7 SSID for my Wi-Fi 7 devices. That's where I do my speed tests on. And then I have a, they, they call it a Guest Network Pro, but basically you can make sep separate levels of guest networks. You can make one for Internet of Things. You can also make a VPN network. So you can make an SSID that if you connect to that SSID, you could set up VPN on just that SSID. And so every time you connect to that SSID, you will already be, be behind a VPN, which is fantastic. So you might be wondering, well, why don't you just make you know other routers offer VPN on all their main network, why not just do that? And the answer is, well, you can do that. And in fact, that's a really good option. However, typically when you connect to VPN, it does usually slow down your connection. So this way, this is kind of like one step better than that. That's already great that you can set up VPN, but this is one step above that because this one you can set up, you can do that, or you can make a separate SSID just for VPN. And when your Wi-Fi device is connected to that, that's when they're behind VPN. So you might only want to have like two devices behind VPN. You can have those two go to that SSID and you're done. You can also make a separate kids network SSID and you can put separate times on that. So if you don't want to individually control, which it also has parental controls, but aside from parental controls, there's literally a kids SSID that you could set a time for that SSID. So let's just say if it's past 8.30 p.m. and you don't want your kids having access to the internet anymore, well, that SSID basically won't have access to the internet after a certain time. So there's really a lot there, and there's a whole lot more in a lot of other places. There's You could basically switch between the channel widths, and which is pretty common among most routers, but you could set your transmit power. You can do, I mean, there's so many options. It's, it's like, wow. It also supports AI mesh. So if you have another ASUS router that supports AI mesh, you can combo them together to create a mesh network. And you can also use the USB 3.0 to share a hard drive on your network if you wanna do that. Don't expect fast speeds from that, but it can be done. So just as a heads up. So should you get this thing? Why or why not? Well, as always, it depends on your specific situation. I would say this is a really good router for internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. It has the 10 gig port, it can handle the faster speeds, but because of the 2.5 gigabit ports right here, it's also a dual band system, I would say for up to 2.5 gigabits, it's really, really good for that. It has a very fast speed rating considering it's a dual band system. 
So it has really good range. You have the antennas, which definitely help out. You have the ton of options. You also have AI mesh. So if you have another ASUS router, you could combo it in with that to increase your Wi-Fi coverage. So a lot to go for this ASUS router. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Are you getting one? Do you have one? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Have you had any issues or has it been great? Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.